Last week, I went over some of the flaws in the updated Ultimate Guide for Warrior Cats, mainly the pouch colors, which were horribly mishandled. After seeing how much you all liked that video, I decided to draw three more mishandled cats to show just how terrible this book is and how little effort Aaron's put into this book. Let's start off with Ivy Pool's design, the girl boss who recently became deputy. You'd think that they'd get her correct considering how important she is now in the books, but they didn't. This is my updated design for her. My old design just had lighter gray um, splotches because I love using simplified designs for animation and you don't want to animate stripes for over 500 frames. And here's the official guide's version of her. Same blue eyes, but they decided to mark her palette color as brown in the palettes gallery. A once again baffling decision. Next, there's Hawk Frost. Here's my Hawk Frost design. I gave him the dumb twink looking hairdo that most people do. I also gave him a white mask because I like drawing Mothwing with a golden one that looks like Mothwings to represent her name, and also because his mother is a ma mask, so it might as well just run in the family at this point. And here's the supposed canon version. His pelt color on the color palette was cream. For this one, I understand at least a little bit, as his mother has a cream pelt, and a lot of art of hers available for the errands to use. However, Hawk Frost has never been drawn as cream before. Even in the updated guide, his drawing is more of an orange-brown tabby color, so I have no clue where they got the cream from. Moving on to something darker in topic, but not a name, we have Brightheart. Here's my current design of her. I gave her a heart on her chest because I find it cute whenever warriors have a part of their name in their design somewhere, like when people put holly leaves on holly leaf or give gray stripe a single black stripe. I also drew her with the pit where her eye used to be. I think her appearance from the old ultimate guide was when her eye was scabbed shortly after her injury. She does not have a right ear in my drawing. I personally believe she lost her ear in the attack as it is often depicted as a dog biting half of her entire face. Meanwhile, this is the new drawing of Brightheart and Cloudtail from the updated Ultimate Guide. Brightheart is much more white than normal and much less scarred. It makes like it looks like her eyes closed. Not that her face was ripped apart to a dog to such a level that Princess, her mother-in-law, was horrified by her appearance. Her scars have been censored and it made to look less devastating. The censorship of those with facial differences or disfigurements is harmful. As facial disfigurements have become shorthand for evil in media, the poison lady from Wonder Woman, the good one, Freddy Krueger, the Joker, and even Scar are, are all examples of this. So whenever there are heroes who have it, they should not be censured, just like how the villains are not censored. Because people with facial differences deserve to have themselves seen as a hero, and not just a villain. And I can only think of two popular characters with facial disfigurements who are heroes off of the top of my head, Deadpool and Quasimodo. Erasing Brightheart's scars also erases her story in general. Her scars are a part of who she is, and removing them shows a lack of care to the character. In addition to all of that, Brightheart is a copy-paste of Daisy. By overlaying the drawing of Daisy from Daisy's kin and Brightheart, one can see that they are the same cap with a different coat of paint. Of course, the same thing applies to Ragged Star and Graystripe, who are the same cat who just changed skins as well. However, Ragged Star and Graystripe don't have history like Daisy and Brightheart do. In the new prophecy, Cloudtail helped introduce and settle Daisy into the clan. Brightheart became insecure over how close her husband was getting to the newcomer, and believed that he was going to cheat on her with Daisy. Making her look identical to the cat who she became so insecure over feels somewhat insulting to me. I know it was most likely not intended and was just a way that the artist could not have to do so much work, but could he have not chosen another cat? Those were all the cats who I felt got done dirty by the guide. If you liked this video, feel free to subscribe. I make Wings of Fire and War Cats videos pretty often, and your support would mean a lot to me. And to those who have already subscribed, thank you for your continued support. I wouldn't have gone here without y'all. Peace, Rogan Island.